Aloha, welcome. Thank you for coming to this live stream on my Facebook. My name is Master Paul. Today's date is October 24, 2016. Welcome to my home. Welcome to uh, this live stream. So today I decided I was this morning I was checking in as to where should I place this focus. And what I realized was that although there is a lot of uh, teachings, wisdom and blessings on the emphasis of soul, a lot of people don't really know much about our soul and its purpose, power and significance in relationship to why we're here. And uh, my teacher and spiritual father, Dr. and Master Shah, uh, he has, has written over 20 books on this subject. <clears throat> so I thought I would elucidate everybody today. I will also spend a, a reasonable amount of time offering blessings today for soul and uh, moving forward our soul moving through its blockages. Now the soul, there are uh, many different aspects to the soul which I'm going to go into far greater detail. But there is a physical body, emotional body, there's a mental body, there's a spiritual body and they're all related to the soul. <clears throat> and so today I'm going to go into deeper teachings about him. I'm going to be reading directly from one of Dr. and Master Shah's books because it speaks very succinctly and clearly. And one of the unique things about Dr. and Master Shah is he is what's called a divine vehicle and channel. Um, divine servant vehicle and channel. And you know, it, he, he, would, he would always repeat it in his books and you know when he's at a retreat he would say these words again and again but it took me a while to actually grasp it and, the, and the, what it really meant. <clears throat> and the bottom line is it means that his family, his job, uh, the, everything else it just goes away. He's here to serve God and he's here to do God's bidding, divine vehicle servant and channel. So if you pick up one of his books you start to read it and you realize that the wisdom in there is very deep and very it catches your heart. It literally it makes you stop and breathe like my goodness this is just pure very pure pure wisdom. And uh, so when I read from one of Dr. Master Shah's books one of the key things to understand is this is not his words. When he writes a book he sits down he invites heaven and he speaks the words that they give him. His, uh, his, his top teacher, Master Cynthia, then types these words out. Um, so I know this to be true based on many years of following Master Shah. I've seen him on stage offering teachings uh, from his own books <clears throat> and he'll have to stop and say, um, Master Cynthia, what does this word mean? The word is in a book that he quote wrote, but he doesn't even understand what the word means which means that he flowed the book. It means that heaven gave him the words and he spoke them but did not know what they actually meant. So when I read from his book what you're really getting is heaven's direct words, heaven's direct messages and they carry such a purity to them. They're going to serve us so well. So let's acknowledge everyone that's joined us today. Uh, we welcome Elizabeth, welcome Yvonne, welcome Shari. And thank you all for sharing as well. Welcome Master Gina, welcome Eleanor, <coughs> welcome Gary McFarlane. Uh, good to see you as well Gary. Welcome Janet, welcome Tawana and uh, Monica. Thank you again Monica for all your sharing. Welcome Kristen Rojas. Kristen's like uh, like my, my right hand I guess is a good way to put it. She's just such a such a wonderful incredible servant and, and universal helper. Uh, welcome Jean, good to see you. Ande Madri, I think it's the first time I've seen you Andy. Good to see you. Thank you for joining. Linda Jansen's jumped in there. Welcome Jean. And Patrice, good to see you. Cynthia Marie has, has joined us. So thank you all so much. I'm excited to have you. And we're going to uh, move forward in just a minute. I'm going to ask you all to do one favor and hit the share button so you might get one or two or three more extra people to, to join us and we can serve their soul journey. And then I'm going to go ahead and call in heaven so that we can move forward with the greatest power. Definitely going to be offering some blessings today as well so you might want to stick around for that. <clears throat> so let's place our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position which is much like a prayer. We drop the left hand in front of our heart center. In your image I believe that's opposite of what you're actually seeing. So remember left hand in front of your heart center. Okay? Close your eyes. 
Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, all beings of light, all beings serving the plan of the light side, all layers of the Divine Tao and Source, Masters, Ascended Masters, Lamas, Sifus, Gurus, Saints, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Jesus and Mother Mary, Beloved Kuan Yin, Beloved Amitofu, Beloved Happy Buddha, Mani Buddha, Medicine Buddha, all angels, healing angels, archangels, dear the soul of our heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, all of our downloads and treasures, we love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, I bow down to you. We ask you to please be with us at this time. We ask that you come to sit in all of our heart centers. Bless us to open our heart. We ask you to open our heart and soul to understand who is our soul and what is our soul's purpose and intention. What is the soul as a whole? We ask that you borrow my mouth as I offer one or two flows today on the power, significance, and nature of the soul. <clears throat> we ask the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes to please turn on. And as we chant love, peace, and harmony, we ask that this beautiful soul song serve all souls unconditionally. We invite all souls in all universes to join with us. So let us sing. For those that know the song, please chant along. For those that do not, close your eyes, receive the blessing, make a request. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I was in the early. O I trun ren le wang li ying rong her mu shi shong shong ai ping on her she shong ai ping on her she I love my heart and soul I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <coughs> Excuse me, clearing the throat. I know it's a little yellow on my face. I've got a new light here. It's probably not the best light condition, but we have to work with it. So let me uh, acknowledge and welcome uh, Cynthia Marie. Welcome Bonnie Brookfield. Welcome Pat. Uh, welcome Ari. Welcome Dana and Carol Federico. Welcome, Danta. Good to see you here, Danta. I've seen you pop in a couple times. Always great to see you. Welcome, Loveness. Hope your uh, cell phone signal or your Wi-Fi signal is strong today. Welcome, Kristen. <laughs> okay, exciting days. <clears throat> so today, we're going to be focusing on what is soul. Now, I'm going to start by offering a flow. A flow is a message from the divine. Uh, it could be from an individual soul or anyone in the soul world. I've spoken many times before and again today, everyone and everything has a soul. And all souls speak one language. It's called soul language. And the beautiful thing about soul language is that it can be understood and translated. <clears throat> so when we're in the soul world, literally, uh, it doesn't matter what nationality, what, what, <laughs> what planet the soul is from, you can understand them because it's soul language. And so as I offer this message from the soul world, know that it's something that I did not have the ability to do uh, for many, many years. It's something that I trained to do. And the reason it's trainable and learnable is because we all have a soul. And the soul uh, 
wishes to, to, to borrow us, borrow this vessel, this body, so it can be a better servant to humanity. It does that by opening its channels, by, by helping and serving people, by making people happier and healthier. It's a simple way to offer service. And so in doing so, <clears throat> we are aligning to our soul. So more on that as I read from Master Shah's book. First, we will start with the flow. So close your eyes, receive the message. How? This is the soul of Master Shah. I am your servant. I bow down to each of you and ask your forgiveness. I am honored to have come to humanity to serve all souls, not just in humanity but all souls in all universes. What is a soul? A soul is a golden light being. What is a golden light being? It is an aspect of the divine. All souls you have heard are created equal and this is true from the origination point those that are here on this place that I call the red dirt have went through great suffering on this planet there is a great deal of suffering. Why do the souls suffer? Many souls suffer because they do not learn lessons. Many souls prosper because they do. My purpose for bringing this wisdom and ushering in the soul light era is to awaken humanity and all souls to their birthright. My task is to teach and to enlighten as many souls as possible. Much more is written in my books, and they speak with greater clarity. So I will leave them to you. I ask that you open your heart to your neighbor, to your co-worker, to your boss, to your husband, wife, and your children to yourself, to your Creator, and beyond, because it is the open heart that truly understands the nature of soul. I am your unconditional universal servant. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you to the soul of Master Shah for that poignant message. <clears throat> so welcome Ronan Kelly from Sydney. Love to get our Aussies joining us. Welcome Lama Rangbar. Thank you for your beautiful comments from the earlier uh, uh, shows. I appreciate your presence. Welcome Irma and welcome Sharon. So as indicated I will offer uh, some teachings from Dr. Master Shah's book, uh, one of his many books. And as I went through uh, uh, the various books today in preparation for this, they all had a, a great deal of information on the significance of soul. But I went to what's called the authority book. And uh, if, you, if you are newer to this wisdom and teaching, I would recommend this book to you. It's called The Power of Soul. And there are so many aspects to it that 
uh, this book does a fabulous job covering it. So, welcome Melissa, welcome Felix. <clears throat> so I'm going to read directly from this book as indicated, and I encourage you to stick around because there will be some significant blessings offered a little bit later. Soul Basics, this is chapter one. For many years I have traveled around the world to reach soul, to teach soul wisdom, knowledge, and practices. I always ask my students, what is the soul? Common answers include, soul is the inner being, soul is the inner child, soul is the spark of the divine. Some people say soul is one drop of water in the vast ocean. Others describe the soul as the essence of one's life. There are many different answers. Every answer has some significance and correctness for the concept of soul. I honor each and every answer, but I would like to share my own insights on the fundamental wisdom of soul. <clears throat> then the question mark, what is soul? A human soul is a golden light being. To see a soul, you must open your spiritual eye, which is named the third eye. Then you will see clearly that every human being has a golden light being inside his or her body. The soul can sit in different parts of the body. There are seven main areas where a human soul can sit. They are called the seven soul houses where the soul could be located. Just above the genital area, this is the first soul house. The second soul house is between the genitals and the navel. At the level of the navel is the third soul house. The fourth one is the heart chakra. He also refers to it as the message center. The fifth chakra is the throat. The sixth in the center of the brain. And the seventh above the crown of the head. So he's saying the soul could sit in any one of these. Where your soul sits is extremely significant for your spiritual journey. The significance is that the location of your soul represents your spiritual standing in heaven. The higher your soul sits in your body, the higher your spiritual standing in heaven. Now a soul has to do shulian uh, in order to uplift its standing. Shulian is an ancient spiritual term. Shu means purification and lian means practice. Shulian means purification practice. It includes the cultivation and purification of your soul, heart, mind, and body. <clears throat> this simply means that your spiritual standing is not determined by you or your soul's desires. The Akashic Records decides that your, where your soul sits inside your body according to your spiritual standing. The Akashic Records are in a special place in heaven. There, all of your lives are recorded including all of your activities, your behaviors, and your thoughts. They also decide your spiritual standing based on your life's record. Master Shah goes on to speak. He says, if you offer good service, such as love, care, compassion, kindness, generosity, purity, then the Akashic Records records this good service. If you offer unpleasant service, such as killing, harming, stealing, taking advantage of others, the Akashic Record also records this unpleasant service. There is a book in the, uh, there is a book in the Akashic Records for each person's soul. This book is dedicated to recording all your services, good and unpleasant, and if your present lifetime, all of your soul's previous lifetimes, your soul carries a copy of this record. Your soul carries a copy of this record. A highly developed spiritual being can read this record, record directly, either from the Akashic Records or from your soul. However, such spiritual beings are rare as they must be given a spiritual order from the divine to access this information. Not many beings in history have received this divine order to access the Akashic Records. I cannot emphasize enough that where your soul sits inside your body is a vital factor for your spiritual journey. Today, many spiritual teachers talk about soul enlightenment. What exactly is soul enlightenment? The key to soul enlightenment is soul standing. To be enlightened, a soul must sit here in the message center, the fourth chakra, or higher. If your soul does not sit in these layers, you cannot be considered to have an enlightened soul. The teacher, that this teaching about the divine, the divine standard for soul enlightenment was given to me many years ago. This is what Master Shah says, was given to him many years ago. Every year I have two or more soul healing and enlightenment retreats. 
in each one, the divine enlightens every participant. The divine has enlightened thousands of human beings in the last few years. In chapter 13, he reveals vital soul secrets, wisdom, knowledge, and practices for soul enlightenment. Good reason to get the book, The Power of Soul. I am extremely honored to be a servant of humanity and the divine to offer soul enlightenment for humanity. The divine gave me the task to offer soul enlightenment for all humanity. I am extremely humbled. I am honored. I am honored to be a divine servant. <clears throat> so what are the characteristics of the soul? I want to take just one minute before I go on. Um, and welcome to some of the newer folks who jumped in. Welcome Nicole. Welcome Judas. Welcome Yawa. Welcome uh, Lain, 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 Lancaster. And uh, also welcome Luciana. Good to see you as well, Luciana. <clears throat> and all of your souls are present. So, Master Shah speaks in more detail at some of his retreats about what is enlightenment. I have read from different masters, different perspectives of what is enlightenment, where the soul sits in the body. There's a variety of perspectives. One of the beautiful things about Dr. Master Shah's teaching is he says, I honor whatever you understand and what your perspective is. I'm just sharing with you what I understand and what the divine has taught me directly. So his understanding, and he also has a very powerful spiritual third eye. So he can see exactly where the soul sits in the human body. If he looked at the Pope, he can see where the soul sits. Um, one time, Master Shah was with one of his top students, Master Francisco. Master Francisco's third eye is extraordinary. And they're in India, and they're touring around India, and they're, they're meeting some very special gurus. Uh, and one of the things that Master Francisco mentioned to Master Shah on the side, he said, you know, Master Shah, I'm looking at many of the high-level initiates, and they're, they're not enlightened. Their soul is down in their, in their third chakra. And Master Shah said, yes, that's true. Please do not say anything. And so it wasn't a judgment. It was an observation. It's not easy to have an enlightened soul. Very difficult. To, to have the soul sit in the heart center takes a great deal of virtue. Virtue is only gained through a high, high level of service on a consistent basis over many lifetimes. So not easy to have what's called soul enlightenment. Master Shah then went on to teach mind enlightenment and body enlightenment. Didn't go into great details on those because they're very hard to achieve. He says that mind enlightenment is, is it's easier to move a mountain, he explains, than to reach mind enlightenment. That is the equivalent of being free of all negative mindsets, all negative thoughts, all negative beliefs, all ego, and all attachments. Sound difficult? Maybe easier to move a mountain, right? That's mind enlightenment. I had no idea there was more than one enlightenment, but this is a very enlightened master teaching, and, and he's learned directly from the divine. He says, then beyond that is body enlightenment. What is body enlightenment? That's when your body can literally disappear and reappear. That's when you have total control over the yin-yang world and you're no longer a part of this world unless you wish to be. That's when you're basically a, a much more heaven than you are here. And that's body enlightenment. So it takes a while to reach enlightenment, to say the least. Let me go on. There are many characteristics of the soul. I have to tell you, when I read this for the first time, my soul was jumping up and down for joy, uh, or at least my mind was, because the food for my, for my, for my soul, for my soul journey, was so uh, blessed by this wisdom. He, he says the characteristics of the soul. A human being has a character. Some people are very active. Some people are very quiet. Some people are very humorous. Some people are very serious. A soul has its own character. From my personal experience, I would like to share my insights on the common characteristics of this soul. And these are bullet points. Your soul, which I call your body soul, to distinguish it from other souls, such as the soul of your organ, your systems, your cell, cell units, or your other souls, uh, uh, your emotional body, etc. So we refer to it as your body soul, uh, is independent. A human being has a soul, mind, and body, but they are separate, but they are united. They are separate because they are independent. They are united because they reside in the same body and communicate with one another. Soul, mind, and body communicate with one another. His most recent teachings speak of transformation of soul, then heart, then mind, then energy, then body. 
If you try to heal the body first, it doesn't change the energy and it can't go up to the soul. If you heal at the soul level, it goes down through the heart, down through the mind, down through the energy, and then changes the body. So the, the uh, shift from, is from the top down. That's the most recent teaching. This book is about uh, eight or nine years old. Um, so souls have consciousness and intelligence. They have awareness. They think. We're not talking about your mind. We're talking about the soul. They analyze. Souls analyze. They learn. They have likes and souls have dislikes. One person may like to travel. Another may love food. You may like to read. Someone else may like sports. A soul has its own likes and dislikes, which is developed over hundreds or even thousands of lifetimes. To help balance and harmonize your soul, mind, and body, it is important to know your soul's likes and dislikes. The request is for the name of the book, Patrice. It's called The Power of Soul by Dr. and Master Shah. The next bullet point, souls have emotions. A soul can be happy. A soul can be peaceful. It can be sad. It can be fearful. A soul could even be upset. Again, the question came, came up. The, so, the book is called The Power of Soul. It's written backwards, but it's called The Power of Soul. <clears throat> next bullet point. Souls have incredible wisdom. After you open your spiritual communication channels, you will be able to consult with your soul. You may be amazed to learn how much your soul actually knows. Your soul is one of the best consultants and guides. Souls have great memory. A soul can remember experiences from all lifetimes. For example, you may travel somewhere for the very first time, but clearly feel that you are familiar with this place. You may feel like you know where you've been before. Some places make you happy. Some places make you scared. You may have had past life experiences in these places. Your soul has memories of those experiences. Therefore, you have special feelings at those particular places. Next bullet point. Souls have flexibility. Walk towards a corner of your room. When you reach that corner, you will, uh, you will have nowhere else to go. You have to turn around and move farther in life. In life, many times you could, you could be stuck in a situation like being stuck in a corner. You must turn around and get unstuck and move further. This teaches us to realize the importance of flexibility. There is a famous statement from ancient times that the essence of the statement is there are three ways to say something find the best way in the moment this tells us that there is flexibility in speaking in every sentence thank you uh, Kristen for placing the link to the audiobook to this book um, on the page so your beloved soul has profound wisdom, knowledge, and experience for hundreds of lifetimes. Your soul has great flexibility, so make sure you use the strength of this flexibility. Next bullet. Souls communicate with other souls naturally. For those that have been paying attention to my previous uh, webcasts, I have been teaching you soul communication. We spent two weeks opening the, the major energy uh, 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 energy. Um, centers and then we spoke about the four major soul communication channels I have uh, taught soul language soul communication third eye all of these are soul based abilities that are latent latent meanings meaning that we are remembering them they've already been instigated in us your soul has been here before guys um, you would not be watching this if you were not already advanced at some level on your soul journey and so it's a remembering process. People often talk or dream about a soul mate. When you meet some people, you may feel instantly love. You may feel there is something special between you. The reason for this is that your souls were close in past lives. Your soul could have been communicating for many years before you met physically. I repeat, your soul and other souls, including the soul of a soul mate or potential soul mate, could have been communicating many years before you actually meet. Okay, this is important. If you're interested in Soulmate, please go to my website. I have an entire program called the Soulmate Attraction System. I utilize these wisdoms to assist people to find their soulmates. <clears throat> Soul travel. When you awake, 
during the day, your soul remains inside your body. But when you are asleep at night, your soul may travel outside your body naturally. In fact, many, uh, many souls do this. Where does the soul go? It goes where it loves to go. Your soul could visit your spiritual teachers to learn directly from them. Have any of you ever been on a, in a dream and been being taught? That's either your guides, angels, and saints, or you went up to a temple in heaven. So we always are learning in the soul world, especially if we're on the soul journey. Um, you're, you're, uh, so. It can also visit your old friends or heaven and other parts of the universe. Another bullet. Souls have incredible healing power. Who, if you could raise your hand, who was on uh, my, my Facebook live stream? It was only about last week. It wasn't long ago. I offered two blessings, one day and then the next day, using soul language. I didn't turn on any of my healing transmissions. I asked my soul and my soul language to offer you a blessing. And it's three minutes. And there was about eight, nine people, and even people who saw the video afterwards, they weren't even live, they responded that their pain levels had either went away or cut in half off a three-minute blessing from my soul. Your soul can heal people. It's very, very cool to understand that. Okay? Um, he goes on to say, I will teach you how to apply soul power for healing, including self-healing, healing of others, group healing, and remote healing. Souls can help you to prevent sickness. In this book, I will reveal the soul secret of soul prevention of sickness. Souls can help you rejuvenate. He will also cover that in this book. Souls have incredible blessing abilities. If you encounter difficulties and blockages in your life, simply ask your soul to help you. Now, he gives an example right here. Dear my soul, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Could you please bless my life? Could you help me to overcome my problems and difficulties? Thank you so much. What incredible wisdom. Thank you, Dr. Masha Shah, for bringing this to us. So you can invoke your body soul in this way, anytime, anywhere. Your soul could help you to solve problems and overcome your difficulties. Love your soul. Ask your soul to bless your life. Your soul would be delighted to assist you. You could be fascinated and amazed at some of the changes that could occur. Now, he, he, I don't know if he says it in here. I'm going to speak it out, and if I repeat myself, I apologize, Master Shah. Your soul can bless your journey. Your soul can block your journey. Why would your soul block your journey? Because this guy up here, it's working overtime and it's going down the wrong direction, okay? Your soul knows always, always what is best for you. And if you keep pushing this wrong direction, even though your brain says, I don't understand, it feels so right. I, I know I'm doing the right thing. I studied hard, I'm doing this, I got my education, I get na 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 and nothing is working. One of two things, it's either karma in your way or your soul is blocking you because you're not following its suggestions. And you're not following its suggestions because you haven't opened your heart sufficiently enough to hear clearly the messages. Okay? So there's a pathway that Dr. and Master Shah opens for each of us through the teaching, through the wisdoms, through the trainings that he offers through all the worldwide representatives at all of the, at the uh, um, centers around the world. These teachings, wisdoms, and blessings are offered. Many of them are free, like today. Some of them you pay extra. For example, in Honolulu, there is an Open Spiritual Channels workshop, the 28th, 29th, and 30th. The 28th is a free evening. It's 6 to 9 p.m. Hawaii time. You might have to stay up late, depending on where you're at. But uh, the weekend is, is, is awesome. You get you know, 8 to 10 hours of, of deep, deep power, education, practices, and opportunities to dramatically open your spiritual channels over one weekend with this level of wisdom. So, so connect to Dr. Master Shah. Uh, maybe Kristen can find that link and put it on the, on the flow of messages here, and, and you can uh, attend that weekend workshop. Just another example. Okay, uh, souls have incomprehensible potential power. What is potential power? In this book, he will teach you, but potential power is, again, the latency of what we know. So we could know, for example, how to play piano, but we forget. We could literally reveal that potential power. We could have been incredible healers in the past, but never dabbled with it in this life. We could have incredible healing potential 
if we find a way to open up to it. <clears throat> your soul connects with your mind. Your soul can teach your mind. I like that. Your soul connects with your heaven's team, which includes your spiritual guides, teachers, angels, saints, and enlightened masters in heaven. Your soul can store messages. Messages can be stored in your message center and in the soul of your body, organs, systems, and more. And after you develop your potential powers of the soul, you'll be able to access these messages anytime and anywhere. Now, this is also very important. <clears throat> I didn't understand this until some of Master Shah's higher teachers. We would receive, as students, we would receive extraordinary blessings. Uh, blessings to increase our spiritual intelligence. Blessings to clear blockages related to um, uh, addictions. Blessings to clear blockages related to uh, karma with finding love. Whatever it might be, right? There's many, many blessings that can be offered. And what would happen is the, the um, Akashic records would open and one of his top students would read the records and see heaven's images and they would describe <clears throat> that after the heavens, generals and soldiers came and cleared out the blockages, that other saints would come with scrolls and books and they would deposit it in our Akashic record at our soul. And then they would say that as this, our soul grows, as we uh, move forward on our journey, these wisdoms will be unlocked and released to us. How cool is that, right? How, how neat would that be to understand? That's how the soul world works. And these messages are already with us or they can be given to us through divine services. Next bullet, your soul is constantly searching for knowledge. Just as your mind is also learning, so too is your soul. Your soul can learn from other souls, particularly from your spiritual fathers and mothers. Your soul has the potential to learn divine wisdom and knowledge. Your soul is not interested in a mind-based thing. It wants divine knowledge. Have you ever studied under a teacher and you got to the point where you were ready for a higher level of teaching and then you found it? I was on that journey many times. For example, tarot cards, um, um, numerology. These are excellent sources of individual specks of wisdom that help us in individual moments in time. But they don't necessarily move forward our spiritual knowledge in terms of our soul journey. They give us uh, a wisdom in, in pieces. So there's a level that each thing can give us value, then we can move forward on our soul journey. Souls can reward you as well as give you warnings. If your soul is happy with what you're doing, your soul can bless your journey. If your soul does not like what you're doing, it may make your life difficult. So he did cover that, excuse me, Master Shah, for getting ahead of you there. <clears throat> it literally could block your relationships or even make you sick. Curious, huh? Your soul can predict your life. If you can communicate with your soul, your soul can tell you what is in store for you. Souls follow spiritual laws and principles. Your mind may not be aware of this, but your soul absolutely follows spiritual laws. Your soul is eternal. And the last bullet point, your soul yearns to be enlightened. They want to offer good service in the form of love, care, compassion, sincerity, generosity, and kindness. That is why more and more people are searching for soul secrets wisdom, knowledge, and practices. You're reading this book now, you may have a great desire to search more. So for those that uh, did not take note of this, the book is called The Power of Soul. It's by Dr. and Master Shah, S-H-A. Um, if you Google it, it'll pop right up. You can usually get the books very affordably. One of the things that Dr. and Master Shah does is for example, when I received my first healer transmission, I paid $1,000 to receive a healer transmission. And he said, don't give me the money. He said, go buy about 50 or so books, which is about 20 bucks a book, and then give the books away. Teach people how to heal themselves. This is an enlightened being teaching people how, you know, what do you make? it When, you, when, when the books are sold that way, the, the person that writes it gets about 20%. So he might generate 200, but that's not what he's about money-wise. It's about passing on the spiritual education. So great masters have great wisdom like that. So you can probably pick up the books really affordable on Amazon and other places used. So I recommend you do so and become uh, more aware in that way. So now I'm going to offer everybody a blessing to awaken to their soul's journey, okay? So wherever you're at, sit up straight. <clears throat> After I offer this blessing, I'm going to offer a soul reading. 
And a soul reading is very much like reading the Akashic Records. I will ask what was the value offered with this blessing and how did it impact you guys? And I may receive third eye images and I'll share with you what I receive. The reason I can offer the healing and the reason I can offer the, the, the soul readings and the blessings and possibly receive third eye is because of Dr. Master Shah. I did not have these abilities before. I put my nose to the grindstone and made my soul journey most important and I have moved to the place where I can now serve you at a much higher level. My teachings is to assist you so you can do the same things I have been doing. That's why I'm here. So close your eyes. Make your request to the divine. You can request if you desire for a specific point of suffering, but I will offer the blessing for your soul journey to align your soul uh, and you on your journey. Okay? Make your request and I will prepare. Keep your eyes closed, focus on your heart center, visualize golden light, and be in a place of gratitude. Repeat after me, I'm going to walk you through a forgiveness practice so the possibility of a much higher healing will occur. Please repeat after me if you're comfortable. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, dear Creator of all life, <clears throat> I love you, I honor you, I truly appreciate you. Dear all souls in all universes, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. I am so grateful for this soul journey and all of my lifetimes. I wish to deeply and sincerely apologize if I or my ancestors have harmed you, your loved ones, or your ancestors in any way in any lifetime. If I have spoken unpleasant words, if I have acted in such a way that brought suffering, if I have thought unpleasant things, I deeply, deeply and sincerely apologize. I know that these kinds of things could harm my soul journey and I wish to move forward. I ask that as this blessing is offered, that heaven, that you, all these souls, offer me your unconditional forgiveness. I am deeply honored and grateful. Continue to repeat, dear all souls, in this and all lifetimes, if you have brought harm or suffering to me, caused me to have unpleasant emotions, physically brought harm or suffering to me. If you have thought unpleasant things about me or brought any form of harm or suffering in any way, I wish to offer you my forgiveness. It is not easy sometimes because I feel very hurt. However, I understand that we are both souls from the same Creator. And that if I hold on to any suffering and blame another, then I am inhibiting my soul journey. So I wish to release you unconditionally of any karmic debt that you have to me. And I ask that you release others of any karmic debt they have to you. Let us join hearts and souls together in love peace and harmony. Now this will be a 10 minute blessing. This will be a long blessing. So this will be huge. So make sure that you're comfortable. Ideally you want your back away from the back of the chair unless you're in pain. Feet flat on the floor. Place your hands relaxed over your lower abdomen. Touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth gently. Visualize the golden light be in a place of forgiveness, be in a place of gratitude, blessings begin. 
Please bless all these souls to align to their soul journey as appropriate. Hey, 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 oh, yo, hey, 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 oh, hey, 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 oh, hey, hey, The Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony <clears throat> transmitted to all of these souls watching now and watching in the future. Please turn on. Turn on in every soul, every cell, every organ, every system, every energy center, every RNA, every DNA in their bodies. And as we all chant together, love, peace, and harmony, please assist in releasing the blockages in the highest and best way as appropriate. Lula Lula Li Lula Lula La Li Lula Lula Li Lula Lula Li Lula Lula Li Lula I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Eloha mai au, Eloha kako apau, Epili mai puvai kako, Aloha malie lokahi, Aloha Malie lukai Lula lula li Lula lula la li Lula lula li lula Lula li lula Lula li lula O I was in Erling. O I run ran lay. Wang Ling Rung Her Musher Shang. Song I ping on her she. Song I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. <clears throat> Join hearts and souls 
together, love, peace, and harmony, love, peace, and harmony. Eloha maiau, Eloha kakoa pau, Lepili mai apu vai kako, Aloha malielo kahi, Aloha malielo kahi. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Woe wash in our ling. Woe I trun ran lay. Wong li hing rung. Her mushu shung. Swong I ping on her she. Song I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Healing transmissions continuing to work 100% as I offer a soul reading as to what is happening at this time with this blessing. Keep your eyes closed. Continue to visualize the light. Continue to receive the blessings. This is the soul of one of the heavenly beings that has come to serve. This group of souls is extremely blessed on this day. As this divine channel has requested, great virtue has been offered to all of the souls that are in attendance. Heaven has many generals and soldiers that have come offering flowers of virtue to all of those souls that are for your request and those that have been blocking your in particular soul journeys. There are some whose soul journeys are being blocked because of their unpleasant teachings in previous time. There are some whose soul journeys are blocked by their own negative thinking mindsets and beliefs. There are some whose soul journey has been blocked by their lack of self-worth and lack of self-love. There are some whose soul journey are being blocked by their soul because they are not taking a correct and clean path. They are vacillating. There are many who have had heaven's animals come to them. Heaven's animals serve a unique purpose to pull out the darkness as needed. They are unconditional universal servants. There are quite a few actually who had blockages in both the heart and in the brain. Now, these blockages were related to a form of intelligence that disallows the reception of higher level spiritual wisdom. These kinds of blockages are karmic related and this kind of blessing is very important for your soul journey. 
For many of you, the blessings are directly associated with the message center. The message center is the karma center, the emotional center, the soul enlightenment center. It is the center in which we keep our unpleasant emotions and a great deal more. For each and all of you, great blessings, light and transformation is being offered for the fourth chakra. All of these <coughs> offer the greatest service without anything in return. For many of you, your sincerity of forgiveness was felt by heaven. As it is said, your sincerity moved heaven's heart. And for those who were sincere, greater blessings, greater flowers have been distributed to your Akashic record. This is one of the universal servants who came to offer blessings at this time how 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 blessing ends divine treasures return how 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 thank you thank you thank huge blessings congratulations for that huge 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 blessings the servant that was speaking was riding this dragon this it was like a gold dragon but it had these red i wouldn't wouldn't say pinstripes but definitely like these red flares on it it's quite beautiful um, one of the one of the uh, um, saints animals that we're serving at this time so definitely a huge blessing for everybody <clears throat> so um, this has been my honor to serve you today I'm getting close to completing an aspect of my website that uh, that I, I'm you know I want to make sure it's all ready before I release it but a blessing of this nature will be offered twice a month 30 minutes each time and um, I, I, I can only tell you that it would be worth it would be worth signing up for it um, I, I'm still looking at the honor fee I just received some messages just now as to how to how to set it up it will be very very affordable that I can promise you um, and it'll be affordable because it'll be group blessing it'll be so affordable you'll be able to to sign up your daughter uh, your, your pet your, your spouse and it even works for loved ones so if, if you if you you know wish you could have done something for your mother your father grandmother grandfather you can sign them up as well so um, I will release that uh, probably early next week as I put all the pieces together <coughs> um, for those that, that definitely want to be made aware of it please make sure I have your email address if you haven't already been to my website and clicked on the uh, join my newsletter it's at the bottom of every one of my pages at the bottom on the footer join my newsletter then I can put your email in my newsletter and you'll definitely be made abreast of it um, and my, my website it was listed a couple times through here but it's a soul and so um, uh, you can also email me a soul healer yahoo.com um, if you are in need of individual healing blessings and services and something's going on in your world that you definitely need some assistance with contact me I can share with you about uh, you know the, the higher level divine services so it's been my honor to serve you on this day I wish to bow down to all of you and thank you all for coming we thank divine Tao source original creator we thank all beings of love and light that have come at this time I thank my heavens teams I thank my protection teams and I thank my healing treasures I thank you all for coming I will be here again tomorrow please keep an eye out for my posting if you're new uh, upon uh, the completion of this something should pop up that says to follow or to, to like I don't know exactly what it says but it lets you know when I go live uh, maybe somebody can let me know what it says because I keep saying it says follow but I know that's not correct <clears throat> um, uh, but but share share this video afterwards so other people know about uh, this I'm here Monday through Friday to serve you with different aspects of this wisdom to move forward your soul journey so I will see you tomorrow same time same place until then bye bye everybody <laughs>